And we're here today at High Tech Oils to Woomera Speedway here in beautiful Queensland. 47 sprint cars, 31 super sedans, it's the men's trading and hire, thunder on the downs, night one tonight, cannot wait, never seen this track before, they're going out for hot laps now, flight one, absolutely keen to see how this place races. Alrighty, flight one time trial is done, this place is juice. Up. I can't believe how fast I come past on the fence. Maybe because I'm close, but I like how like they're below us, and you can only see the top wings is pretty cool. Brock Hallett just went quick time in flight one, but 11, 4, 8, 3, um, and flight two's going out now. So what they're doing here tonight is really interesting. I'm in turn two now, checking it out. It's a great spot. They've got lightning sprints out on the track now, as we just seen. And what I didn't show you before is. It's really cool what they do here at Toowoomba. So it, it, they run, they got engine starts out for flight one, and then what they did is they actually ran the lightning sprints heat one, and they hit flight one time trial. Now flight two sprint cars come out, engine starts, now they're waiting, and now lightning sprints heat two is underway now. So what that means is they're moving the event along quick, and it's actually not affecting each group of time trials. I really enjoy that. Spring cars and Talia Bell going quick time with an 11 7, uh, I believe it's a 1 8. I'll double check that time. Just uh, yeah, she beat a great car field. Um, she beat a great field of cars. Sorry, I'm a bit rattled now. Um, Jordan Major just got an um, upside down in time trials, uh, going to three tagged award, um, took a big lick. Just uh, waiting in the medical to check if my mate's all right. So, and uh, get back into action after we make sure he's okay. And um, yeah. Not what you want to see, but um, anyone in time trials for that matter, but uh, super sedans are going out Just said, what a heat race, man. Top and bottom. Eagle had it, got the bottom early past um, Hallett. Then it looked like Eagle's race, and you know, just near the end, have you seen him coming to the line? Eagle buzz tires coming out, and Hallett just drove under him and snuck the heat race win, I think, from that angle. Um, but yeah, very track. Um, very, ugh, I can't even talk. That pumped up. Very exciting race track right now. Top and bottom. Uh, just what you want to see. The track's coming absolutely perfect for heat racing. Brody Davis wins heat race number two, Tate Frost in second and Cody O'Connell in third.
There you go to the Australian champion, Lockie McHugh, in second, Talia Pell, and in third, Jock Goodyear. Heat race four goes to Luke Oldfield. In second is Michael Stewart. And in third is Randy Morgan. Here with heat race four in a Luke Oldfield. Now, mate, I know you're known for banging the wall down here, but that was something different. Yeah, banging the inside wall. <laughs> <laughs> um, talk to us about that track. It looked like the top was just so far around compared to the bottom, and it was so hooked up there. Yeah, the, the entry was pretty hooky, and then you, the exit's really blown off, so you couldn't get out of the corner on the top. So you're washing a lot of speed off on the exit, and uh, yeah. And we just had to shut the door and go to the bottom and um, yeah, just keep it smooth. Yeah, is it that dicey of an entry? Like you're getting off the gas so much, but you try not to hook into that inside fence? Yeah, it was a bit of a wet spot in the middle of three and four. And if you slip that, it's like pushed through the middle. So yeah, just had to be a little careful and uh, concentrate and get your mark on the middle point and uh, yeah, smooth on the exit. All right, with the heat race win, where does that set you for the rest of the night? Uh, we're at the front row of the, on the out of two on the A dash. So. Just got to keep it up the front there, and that's where we start in the final. So, fingers crossed. Uh, any sponsors you'd like to thank? Yeah, big thank you to Advanced Mobility, Trident Signs, uh, Revolution Race Gear, BK Trading, uh, I've got Barnes Drilling, Coscas, uh, O'Neill Dino Tuning, and uh, yeah, that's I think that's all of them. But yeah, no, <laughs> heaps of people to help out. Well, mate, you did a good job with the sponsor list there. Uh, good luck for the rest of the night. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Have a good one. All right, here we have Heat Race 2 in a Brody Davis. Mate, talk to us about that track. That was something unique. It was uh, less was more type deal. Yeah, I guess I uh, usually haven't watched a lot of the stuff that happens here at Toowoomba. It's usually around the top. So it's, um, yeah, had to make you think about it. You run it in the bottom, get uh, get that entry and get the groove in and right. And, uh, yeah, around the top and three and four. But, yeah, no, it, was, it felt good. It just, uh, to get a heat when you always got to be pretty good. So it's awesome. Now, with that Heat Race win, where does that put you for the rest of the night? Uh, so now, so obviously we're straight into the A, but we'll uh, be out of three for the A dash. So uh, see what we can make happen from there. Hopefully, uh, just sort of run some more consistent laps and yeah, be in a good spot for the feature. All right, mate. Any sponsors you'd like to thank? Yeah, massive thank you. Obviously, just first off to uh, Bill Mann, who's given me an awesome opportunity in the, in the Q16 car. Uh, QSS, Queensland Speedway Spares, Performance Wholesale, uh, Driven Oils, uh, East Coast Logistics, North Safe Test and Tag, and everybody else who goes into this thing. It's um. It's good that we're having a good night so far and hopefully we can carry it on. All right, mate, hope you have uh, get that number 16 to the front. We'll give it a go. Thanks, Cheers. Here with Jordan Charge. Now, he's in a different car again this week. Talk to us about that heat race, mate. You were battling with Newton and then uh, what happened? Yeah, we actually, uh, well, we are running out of fuel, so it was uh, starting to stumble and kick fart around a bit. So um, other than that, I mean, the car was good. Um, as I said, we are running for third. Um, it is the way, way it is sometimes, isn't it? Um, now, with that result, where does that put you for the rest of the night? Uh, so we ended up six in our heat, so we're actually out of uh, five in the beat. Um, so, I mean, 
I think we'll get through. Just obviously got to work at it. We made a fair few changes, trying to get a bit more comfortable in the car. But other than that, I'm I'm feeling better every time we go out. Uh, now, uh, is there any sponsors or people you'd like to thank? Obviously, a, a main thing, obviously, thanks to Brody um, from Tarbo Price Store. Um, they uh, gave us an opportunity to run their car. Obviously, we put a deal together after suffering an engine uh, failure in uh, Darwin. Um, we let uh, Zach Grimshaw borrow our, our motor and unfortunately it got hurt. So, yeah, big thanks to Brody here. Uh, let us put a deal together to come up here. And obviously, JFE Group, as you can see on the wing here, uh, Josh and Emily, big thanks to them. They, uh, they actually helped us get up here and, and, and run a car. So, yeah, it's awesome. Obviously, our merchandise getting sold through them from the Victory Fuel Van. And, um, yeah, it's been really good. Bit of track prep going on now after the heat. We just caught up a few drivers. It was very interesting to hear their tricks on the track. It was uh, very tricky, like I said, seeing Luke Oldfield run that bottom. And normally he's a wall banger. So what we're going to do right now is uh, let's check out the Kenny. All right, so we finally got some food, but so we got a request from Van Von and Kevin Blake for a Toowoomba donut. So let's have a go. Uh, pretty good texture. A lot of freaking sugar, I haven't seen them, but... Different to Warnable Donuts. Warnable's a bit more doughy, it's a bit more crispy, but I like that. Mm. <laughs> now next... Barbecue chicken pizza. It's fresh. Oh yeah, now that's a good speed by Peter. Let's go.
Right, so the Super Sedan B Main just finished. Was it the B Main? It was B Main, eh? Yeah, Super Sedan B Main just finished. Now they're absolutely rushing all the sprint cars out here. All the crews are going crazy trying to get their cars done. Uh, we just see Nick Wells win the B Main. What a driver. And Callum Walker come from sixth and nearly pinged it in the end. So uh, look for those guys to run through on the bottom and uh, pick a lot of positions off. I feel they're fresh. They just know how the track is. And also Jackson Delamont was very impressive in the B Main as well. So I would not be surprised if those three guys plus Chargy move forward in tonight's A main. Um, the bottom is definitely still in in uh, three and four, but um, the winner tonight's going to have to run everywhere. It's not you'll just rip the lip, as people say here at Toowoomba. Definitely a tricky racetrack tonight. Very racy. Alrighty, so we're up in the media tower right now with Nathan. Uh, what a what a spot up here. One thing tonight is Luke Oldfield. I think he's been running the bottom good all night. And Uh, feature winner Luke Oldfield mate that was uh, one of the craziest things I've seen so much lap traffic and at one point I swear you had five cars around you and you were just sitting in the middle well what does that feel like <laughs> definitely hectic um, yeah was at one point there we we're behind the cars I'm like there's cars here you can't go anywhere so you just gotta hold a nice line on the bottom hope no one passes you so couldn't see anyone there so I didn't I'm just sort of keeping a little sneaky eye out but um, yeah, no, I'm lucky to come away with them, really. <laughs> now, this is my first time at Toowoomba, and I'm used to it on TV, on the wall, on the wall, and then we see that type of track. Uh, has there been a Toowoomba like that in the past? Yeah, there's been a quite a few times over the years, but um, had not for a while, but uh, definitely a different racetrack than what we're used to, which, hey, I, I, I liked it because I won, but, uh, <laughs> but I, I just still like it up high, but... Um, yeah, definitely had nothing out of the corners there tonight, so. Yeah, so was it so juiced up, sort of getting in, you couldn't miss the bottom, but then when you got to the straights, it was like ice? Yeah, pretty much, even off the bottom, but I mean, I think we just got enough drive off, off that little bit of tack out of the exit. It was enough to get you going, so. And you, you're pretty well blocking anyway, so. Yeah, so later in the feature, I just seen you kept tucking and tucking that wing back. Is there a point where you go, I think I've tucked it back enough, or you've actually maxed it out? Yeah, when I went to the top after I pulled it back, I thought, yeah, no, that, no deal than that again. She's full turn left and on the brake and it wouldn't turn. Oh, don't do that again. All right, mate. Well, uh, congratulations on the win tonight and hope uh, you can get back in the winner's circuit tomorrow. Yeah, thanks, mate. Cheers. We have Callum Walker, two and a half years out of the seat. Started sixth in the B main, transferred. Started 18th in A main, got to 13th. Now, mate, uh, 
two and a, year, two and a half years out of the seat, been racing T2 after the back injury. How did that feel tonight? It was pretty good. Yeah, no, it was nice. No, it was good to be back in the spring car. And, uh, yeah, we just start, start from day one and get the ball rolling. Tick yeah. off so go. what are your plans this year? How many shows are you looking to run in the spring car? I'm not too sure at this stage. Um, we'll just um, we'll have a look at the calendar and just find what we want to do. Uh, um, I had, we're currently running the Super 2 Series as well, and there's no clashes there. Um, but, yeah, we're just, um, we're just mainly just doing this to get a little bit more racing. Um, as you know, with the Super 2 stuff, there's only six events a year, and, and uh, there's 30 in Queensland or something, so let's just have added and have a bit of fun. And it's, uh, it's good to go racing again. You know, we, we love Speedway, and, and um, yeah, we do it as a family still, and it's great. Now, with the Super 2s, what is, and obviously Asphalt, not in a circle, what is, though, the big difference that really brings you back to Speedway? Uh, there's plenty of differences, yeah. But there's plenty of similarities as well. Like, you know, anytime you get prepared in a race car, you, you, get, you mentally get ready and, and all that sort of stuff. And there's been a lot of, there's been a few changeover things that I bring from this to the circuit racing. And, um, you know, there's, there's, there's still got four wheels and, you know, you still want to make it go fast. So you still, you know, you, uh, I try and relate to the sprint car a fair bit. You know, like, if you're... If you do that to the suspension, it's like doing that in here, and and uh, you know with the anti-roll bars, it's like bringing the wing back, and, okay. and um, you know fun things like that. It's, and it's it's in our terminology because you know um, yeah it's, that's that's the way we talk. You know, like as the race goes, you bring the wing back. You know? yeah, race cars, race car. Yeah, you, know, you, you know, soften the rear. You know, yeah, but we have fun with it, so we enjoy it. All right, mate. Uh, anyone you'd like to thank or some sponsors? Me, I'd like to thank Terry, uh, my chief uh, crew chief, Terry Brackett. He uh, if he, if he uh, he, he's been really fun. We really enjoy working together. Um, we uh, we spend two nights a week working on the car, and, and we're really we're really enjoying racing again. It's it's nice, you know. And um, and all my family for all their support over the years, and, and uh, yeah, my girlfriend for supporting me. So it's, uh, it's um, like I said, we're really enjoying it. This is night one of, of how many we're going to do, and we just um, yeah, tick them off, like you said. Or oh, uh, we started. Um, what do we do? We time twenty fourth or something, and then. We got to the B and then transfer from the B to the A and just move forward. That's all you really can do is just do the laps and you know, just do your best every time. All right, mate. Well, um, yeah, it was super cool to finally meet you as well. And um, I I like you know, stuff you. On the internet. It's cool. I yeah. Watch it. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I see, I see. Um, but yeah, it's um, like I said, it's pretty badass for two and a half years out of seat. And you know, like you said, behind the eight ball, it's a very hard format, fastest to the front, yeah. so you got to time hard. Yeah. Um, and yeah, then you just putt along, and I think the track came to your type of driver style. So I'm keen to see what it's like tomorrow. It's my, this is my first time here tonight. So yeah, it's uh, like it? I loved it, but the only thing I would say, buddy, is like everyone saying, oh, it's on the fence, but it wasn't. But which I like it. It was a very tricky racetrack, and it, you know, like like Luke was the best driver I felt overall tonight, and that's why he got the job done. So um, so yeah, um, I guess I'll see you tomorrow, and that's. Uh, Let's have some fun.